Hello friends, welcome to another episode of My Life Experiences. Easter season is here, a time where we celebrate and commemorate the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Such a wonderful time, such a great time. Now, <laughs> my daughter is just here, but <laughs> she's trying to, <laughs> to confuse me. Okay, so it's such a wonderful time, the bedrock of Christianity. As usual, guys, today I have some life experiences to share with you. It happened one day, and that particular day, my husband had left uh, for field as his job usually required of him to do. So at the house, it was just myself and my small baby who was less than six months old. That evening, I locked the gate, I locked the house, the two of us, myself and my small baby. Later on, I heard a knock at the gate. I went to the gate. I checked. There were about four or five ladies standing there. I recognized one of them as a neighbor. I opened for them and invited them in. But they refused to come in and they said that, you know what? We don't want to come in. We are not taking long because we've got a word for you from the Lord. Actually, this is a warning for you from the Lord. We want to deliver this message to you. Then I said, okay, but it's kind of chilly to, today, tonight. And besides, I've got my child in the house alone. I'll not engage in any conversation with you unless we go in the house. Then I insisted on that. Hesitantly, they accepted to go in the house. They introduced themselves. All of them were neighbors, whom, of course, I didn't know except from that one person. Uh, that I recognized. But later on, she started the conversation and said to me uh, that, you know what, Mrs. Sosola, in the night I had a dream, or whether it was a vision or a dream. In that particular dream, the Lord revealed it to me that your house is in the middle. Your house is in the middle of witches and wizards. Actually, your house is surrounded by these wizards and witches. And in this vision that I had, I saw one wizard with a protruding mouth and a very extended long nose standing there with his arm extended into your house to do whatever wizardly he wanted to do on your house. Then I said, really? As she said, yes, this is the message for you. It's the warning that we've brought for you from the Lord. I said that, okay, I took my time, I thought about it, then I thanked all of them. I said, thank you guys, the four of you, for coming here, for sparing your time to deliver this word from the Lord. But one thing that I want to say today is that the God that I believe in is an all-powerful God. In fact, he's the greatest wizard that has ever lived. He's the greatest witch that has ever been. And whatever other witches are there, their power are below the power of this God that I serve. Therefore, he's able to protect me and my family from all the powers that have been formed against me, against us, by the evil one. We will not succeed, we will not prosper. So, thank you so much for that revelation, but I just want to assure you that the God we serve who has revealed this, is going to protect us also. At the end of everything, I offered a prayer, and I saw those ladies off. I locked the gate. I locked the, 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 the door. We slept as peacefully as ever with my child that night. Another day, a lady came to me from church, and she said to me that, you know what, Mrs. Sosola, people are talking they are asking each other how you are able to stay in that house. Because the neighbor who used, the person who used to stay in that house before you, the previous tenant, did not stay for long. Because they were facing frightening things in that house. They were seeing scary things in that house. People are asking how you are able to stay in that house. Then I said, you know what? I'm a woman of faith. 
And I believe that my God is sovereign. He's all powerful. He's all present. He's able to protect me. So if what the people are saying is true, that my house is bewitched, I praise, that's the reason more for me to praise God. Because ever since I moved into this house, I've never seen anything frightening. I've never seen anything scary. I've never seen anything queer. In fact, our lives in this house is as peaceful, as serene, as tranquil as ever. There is nothing that is frightening to us. We are living peacefully. So, please, deliver this message to those people that they shouldn't worry about a thing because we are living under the protection of God. That's how I responded to that person. And it was the truth. So, what is it that I want to say to somebody this day? What I want to communicate is that the devil always wants to instill fear. The devil thrives on fear. He wants people to be afraid. He wants people to be trembling and to be scared. That's what people do. He wants people to be gripped with fear and to have panic attacks, to not be able to sleep in the night, being afraid of him. That's what the devil wants people to do. Another thing, tactic that the devil uses, apart from fear, is that he wants people to shift focus from God, the greatness of God, and to just focus on the issues of the devil. He wants us to lose the focus from the greatness of God because God might have done great things to us. Miraculous things might have happened in your life. Great things. You may have testimonies of how the Lord had delivered you sometime, but the devil wants you to shift your focus from the greatness of God to just thinking about the doings of the evil one. And another tactic that the devil uses that he wants to shake your faith. When he brings fear to you, brings fear on you, shift your focus from God, and then he wants also to shake your faith. You'll be afraid and you'll be saying, oh, this God, where is he? Why isn't he protecting? Forgetting that the Lord has brought you from afar. The Lord has carried you th through things. The Lord has protected you to this time. So those are the tactics that the devil uses. And I just want us to be aware of these tactics during this time of the Easter season. Because the word of God is saying that, devil, where is your sting? Death, where is your sting? Where is that power that the devil relied on? Death, where is it? Where is the power of sin? Because God has conquered. God has defeated all. Let us have confidence in him and enjoy this Easter season. Let's just have confidence in this God. Because he is almighty. To the point of defeating death, he died and he rose again from the death. The, the greatest Evil that could ever happen befell Jesus Christ, but he conquered death. I just want us to read the book of Revelations chapter 1 verse 18. Revelations 1 verse 18, it says that, Do not be afraid, I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of heads and of death. Okay, I'll just repeat again. Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive and live forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of heads and of death. So, Jesus Christ lives today. He's the one who was, who is, and who is to come. He's the first, he's the last. What can scare us? What can frighten us? Because he's alive. He holds the key of heads and death. The keys are in his hands. Whatever the devil may want to plan against you cannot succeed. Nothing can happen to you apart from 
whenever maybe he has given a uh, permission for something to happen but nothing can happen against you no plans formed against you can ever prosper or succeed over your life because he's alive that's the season that we are in today because he was dead and now he's alive may you commemorate this season with the peace knowing that the lord is in control Every high place, every stronghold, whatever may be setting you back, I command it to come down before the feet of Jesus Christ. And I pray for strength. I pray that you have faith in this God because he's above every power that has ever been. All strongholds, they cannot stand before this God. No power, no weapon can ever stand before this God. Because he's almighty in battle. He's our banner. He's Jehovah Nisi. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's the God who goes before for us. He's the one who parted the seas. He's the one who was, who is, and who is to come. And he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could have ask of him. He is able to see somebody through. He is able to see you through, sister. He is able to see you through, brother. He is all powerful. Just have confidence in this God today. If you are being gripped with fear, if you are having panic attacks, you are failing to sleep at night, God is able, God is in control. Oh God, I'm praying for your strength over that person who is watching right now. I'm praying that you sustain them in faith. You remove fear. Thank you for revealing these tactics that the devil has on our lives to give us fear and to shift our attention for you from you and also to move, shake our faith. We thank you for this revelation. Um, it's my prayer to day that you just give us strength and you should increase our faith. We give you all the glory and all the honor, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the death on the cross. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you because you have overcome. And all power belongs to you in heaven and on earth. We just give you all the glory and all the honor. Thank you so much, viewer, for choosing to watch this channel. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Be blessed.